Hello friends, my name is Alex Arx, and today we're going to be building a hospital run by supercomputers in Two Point Hospital. I am still playing as Corrupt Healthcare, my uh, healthcare organization. We've got our value up quite a bit, 75 6 million dollars. I've been a little bit addicted to this game, so I, I've played it quite a bit. So we're going to be playing on the Rotting Hill level, and basically my plan is to achieve three stars, really only using a research lab. Rotting Hill Hospital has been on its last legs for a while. Okay, so it's key to note, straight off the bat, minus $10,000. I want to basically build this entire hospital up using money really only from a research lab. Now that's insane. Sell the bogs. $125 per toilet. I'll take it. Right, okay. Uh, staff room. We actually do not need a staff room. Go away. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Huzzah! Right, okay. This is the basic skeletons of what our hospital is going to be. And then all this space is going to be the start of my awesome research lab. How about you get rid of this? and delete all these benches. So I took a 50 grand loan and I've already spent basically all that money. So I have a researcher now that can't do research. Do do because I can't afford a research room. Okay, we need more money. Six grand and he's dying. <laughs> Give me your money. Okay, we are making money. That's, that's good. That's a decent profit loss margin. This is good. Everyone is waiting for psychiatry, and I can't afford to train a psychiatrist because I've got no money. Do you think we need a loan? I've already taken out a loan. I can't afford more. I like the way he's enjoying life. <laughs> this hospital is awesome. They're in negative money, but it's cool. He's just walking in on the psychiatrist. <laughs> I've got so many problems. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> Work and research. That is now your new home forever. Okay, let's go. Our money is getting quite low. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're now able to research. Look at how quickly that bar is <laughs> filling up. Oh, no, not an epidemic. Okay. Epidemic. No, this is good. This is good. If I can find and cure the people that have got the virus, I get loads of money. You're a man. Who's got a disease? Oh, yeah, you've got it. There we go. Are you the last one? There we go. Motivated, nasty, and cheap. Kimmy Goop is my girl. Okay, I'm gonna hire Kimmy Goop. Now, this is awesome because what I can do is with the training room is, is I can train my other researchers for free using the researcher I already have. What are you doing? Are you taking a poo? You're supposed to be training. Don't be so sad. Don't be so sad with yourself, come on. Night fever emergency, treatment room psychiatry. Yeah, we'll take those patients. Free money, free money. I say free, I mean, we do actually have to work for it, but you know. Oh, look at all the money. Before we go any further, because you're complaining about how cold you are, here's a supercomputer. Bum, 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 ba da da da. Investing all my money in supercomputers. 22 people waiting for a GP. <laughs> Sounds like normal NHS levels, doesn't it? Oh, that's a bad profit loss margin. <laughs> I mean, we're still winning, but it's not ideal. It's been nearly 16 years, and yeah, my, my supercomputer research lab has, has come along quite nicely. Yes, the queue for the GP is massive. It's only 58 people, but that's fine. Um, we haven't expanded. We haven't built any extra rooms. My hospital is worth 1.34 million in physical assets. Um, if we have a look at the research lab, it is worth 1.2 million. We have 59 supercomputers in there. 59 supercomputers, 20 grand each. At this point, obviously, I'm being held back by curing patients. What my plan is, is I'm going to move the research lab into its own building. That way, I'll be able to build many more supercomputers. <gasps> yes, that is right. It is year 31. As you can see, I've built my supercomputer room. I needed to obviously chuck in a little block of toilets for my researchers. We've got 366 supercomputers in here, and that is... 
732... 732% more boost. This is a very, very overpowered research lab that's worth $7.3 million. You can obviously see there that my hospital value is 29 million. I've got 17 million in the bank. Cheese your gubbins. Three, two, one, go. I mean, look at that. That is ridiculous. I can make 260 grand easy a month just from this single room run by five members of staff. I actually need to cure 500 patients, so yeah. I decided instead of this taking absolutely forever, even though it already has because we're on year 31, about to be year 32, I thought that I would expand the hospital just a little bit. I've got a few more GP offices, got marketing, so I'm marketing for a pharmacy. And then, well, this piss-soaked building over here is just where I've just started building additional stuff to help me get cures. For the most part, for the last, I'd say 30 years, I was running just with these two buildings. All I do now is I just sit here, activate cheesier gubbins over and over again. Um, don't, don't mind all the notifications at the bottom, that's just everyone complaining about how rubbish my hospital is. It doesn't matter, it's worth a lot of money. I suppose I should probably focus on the staff morale for a wee bit. Maybe. Do 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 do. Look at the filthy floor. Ba dum bum bum be de boo boo. Make it all look nice. But chucking posters of stuff everywhere. Just get rid of all the unpleasantness with posters of people with lights for heads. Oh lord, this building's horrible. Oh, I like the way I'm just covering up how awfully disgusting my hospital is just with posters of naked cubist people. I mean, that's a lot of gold plaques. If you don't think he's a good psychiatrist now, I don't think any number of gold plaques are going to help. Is anyone going to fix this? Either way, that janitor's just decided, you know what, I'm on break. Screw that fire. <laughs> no one's fixed. No, you're too late. Get out of there. <laughs> Three more people. And then I'll send everyone on breaks at the same time. I'm going to give them massive pay rises. It'll be awesome. Everyone can go on break at once. There we go. Everyone can take breaks all at the same time. I should have probably paid attention because now I'm probably way overpaying some people. Because I increased everyone's pay by 1%. Mm hmm. Yeah, some people are on a quite a lot of money. 81. 82. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. 83. 85. Staff morale. 90. Okay, we're not making any money, but that's fine. Oh god, all my janitors are off and everyone needs to poopy. 93. Come on, so close. So close. It stopped. 94. Do I hire a janitor to quickly unblock some toilets just in case? 94. Yes. Yes, we did it. Who would have thought when you took over this hospital that we were in store for such archetypal rags to riches tale? Now that I've put in those terms, I find it quite sickening. It is quite sickening. Cures per year, 60. I'm only curing 60 people a year. Yet my value is five times more than Jumbo Megacorp. About a quarter of the cures per year, but I'm making five times more. So it's like I'm doing 20-fold more than some of these hospitals. Total annual wage bill is 1.16 million. And I don't need most of these staff. Like, in theory, I could get rid of everything. This has been an awful hospital. I sent home 289 people, 817 rage quit, 441 died. But don't worry, we, we cured 850. <laughs> so yeah. That, that was the hospital. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> You're kidding me. It's gone. It's all gone. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna stop the video here friends if you enjoyed it please leave a like and also click on subscribe to become a friend today 
I'd just like to say though, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, friends. Stay awesome. Bye! Naked cubist people.